so at the starting of my pedal chain I have a precision tuner by Amun or I don't know how to spell that. I only used it to tune my guitar and I got it for like 40 or 50 or 60 bucks from Shopee. So my guitar going through this and then going through this. I just got this and it's so good. This is the Proco Red 2. So this is like one of the most iconic distortion pedals I have seen. That's why I bought it. I don't see anyone in Malaysia playing this nowadays. So I just decided, you know what, I should get it. The rack going through another distortion pedal which is the Boss DS1. This is very underrated. I also don't see anyone playing this a lot so... Uh, yeah, I decided to buy it. Kurt Cobain used this. John Frusciante used this. Uh, who else? I forgot. Dirt pedals going through a delay. This is the new X Time Force. Someone gave it to me. It has a tap tempo. So yeah, it's really cool. It also has a looper too. See that? Yeah. And then from these four pedals, there are uh, two here. This is the Digital Multi Effects by Behringer FX600, that's the model. Uh, these are just all modulation and pitch effects you see here. Uh, we got a pitch shifter which I mostly use. Uh, tremolo, delay, phaser, chorus and flanger. Yeah. To another modulation effect which is called the Trilicopter by Rowin or Rowin. Yeah, this is basically just a tremolo pedal. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, so that's why I got it. This is also a very, very simple pedal called the P90 Pro Face by Morsky, which is just a MXR Face 90, which is based on. And uh, yeah, it's very simple right here. Just a speed control and whatever this switch is supposed to be. The last one in my signal chain is a digital reverb uh, by Behringer DR600 which is the model and then going out we have the Joyo AC tone which I will be using in this video just to give you an example of just to give you an example on how it sounds like through an amp.